My brother, my hero. Ganyan ang turing ni Miss International 2013 Bea Rose Santiago sa nakababata niyang kapatid na nag-donate ng kidney para mabigyan pa ng pagkakataong mabuhay ang beauty queen. Ang emosyonal na kwento ni Bea Rose sa aking chika. And I'm currently on on stage um, end stage uh, renal failure. Sa binibining Pilipinas Coronation Night noong July 2021. Puno ng po ay sabang matapang na inilahad ni Miss International 2013, Bea Rose Santiago ang kanyang life-threatening condition. I'm currently waiting for my transplant and um, I'm currently undergoing dialysis five times a week. Dahil sa isang autoimmune disease, mula ng teenager pa lang, pumalya ang parehong kidney ni Bea Rose. At halos bawian siya ng buhay noong 2018. Umuwi si Bea Rose sa Canada at naghintay ng kidney donor. Sa aking exclusive interview, ikinwento ng beauty queen ang kanyang internal battles bago ang kidney transplant. I found strength in my vulnerability. Like I feel like um, the more people who can relate to me, the more I feel stronger, the more I feel like empowered, I guess. Ilang family members ni Bea ang sumubok na mag-donate ng kidney. Pero tanging ang kanyang nakababatang kapatid na si Paul, ang naging perfect candidate na donor. Emosyonal si Bea Rose, lalo oh pat tila God, naging malinaw daw ang plano ng Panginoon para sa kanila. The very first time that I asked God for something was a baby brother. And I always tell him that parang, you know, when I was around four years old, you're my very first prayer kay God. The very first time I actually prayed kay God was to have a baby brother and for you to be my donor pala and to save my life, like, that is more than just a miracle. Pag-amin ni Bea Rose, sa una'y tinanggihan niya ang kidney donation. Ngunit ito na lang ang tanging paraan para maisalba ang kanyang buhay. You ask that eh, na parang nakaforce ka ba? Do you feel pressure to, to, you know, to help me? Kasi I'm your ate. And... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't help but tear up too. But yeah, yeah. And, and you know, you gotta ask these things because, because after you know, as an eldest, diba, you take care of your family, you take care of your siblings. And I, I was nine years old. My mom had to leave us to my grandparents, and mm-hmm. so I took care of my siblings. For him to stand up like that, that, that was um, that was such more than bravery. That's a lot of love. Mapapakinggan ang kabuuan ng madamdaming panayam kay Bea Rose sa updated podcast ng GMA News and Public Affairs.